what is up me amigos and me non amigos because you would be an amiget is that how that works i don't think that's how that works welcome back uncle Carius man myth fisherman uh that guy was stuck in the wall we're here at the temple it may be like why the hell are you here at the temple i don't know to be honest no i do know but i don't think i have the stuff to do what we're supposed to do here hold up real quick let me go back here let me grab the bottom of this bucket so we're gonna start this episode off by uh, grabbing something from the juice mod there's a new weapon he added in uh his most recent juice mod update which also added in uncle F car uses fishing pole no longer gains the ability to fish in lava or fish up lunar fragments which i don't remember if that was a live stream or an episode i complained about it but uh that's a smart feature because i didn't like that the uncle carrier rod was able to fish up lunar fragments because it just completely nullified the u why do those hit any hit so hard it completely nullified the use of uh the fishing shotgun that you get from killing the moon lord and it just annoyed me because of that because <laughs> it was the only feature i was going to use it for and they just got rid of it because i have Carrier's rod but it's all good. That feature is no longer a thing. Which is smart. In my opinion. Because it makes it so you have to you know, have a little bit more variety. It's like a Spice of Life. that uh, There's a Fallout mod called Spice of Life. And there's also a Minecraft mod called Spice of Life. And I think in that mod you have to eat different food. You know you gotta have that variety. Because if you eat the same food it becomes unaffected. Like you get like one or two health bars back. But if you keep it, you know, keep a variety, your health bar always be going up. Your saturation is always going up. The Fallout mod, Spice of Life, everyone be wearing different clothes. Like that, like the comparisons. I know, Game Raiders is a genius when it comes to analogies and comparisons. Thank you. You don't have to thank me, though, but thank you anyways. <laughs> let's, uh, let's fill this up. Hopefully this is deep enough for us to catch this. Yeah, let me see. The name of the weapon is Sunfish. Added Sunfish. New magic weapon fished in the Lizard Temple after defeating Golem. There you go. Here it goes. Hopefully. Stop! You hit for so fucking hard! Oh my god! Did they buff that enemy? That ain't even the same attack. That shit hurt it, bro. Okay. Here it goes. I get it. I hope I got it. Oh look, fish and mud fish. I got it. Look at that. All right, let's head. I guess let's head this one and give the fisherman his fish. Might as well. Do these three not houses at the bottom not count? No, they do. Do I have max NPCs? I think I have max NPCs currently. Where's the fisherman? Is he over here? I don't know where he's at. I thought he was right. Right at this house. Or right at the goddamn top. There he is. Bully. Billy. Billy the Angler. Sorry for that beep in the background. I was cooking food in the oven. Alright. Boom. Thank you, man. That's so useful. What a beautiful boy. Mm, no, I didn't say that. What a nice young man. There you go. Uh, shh. I, know, I guess we sell that. But look, we got the sunfish. And we also got special bait. Tracks quest fish. No, we do need to make some bait this episode. You know what else we're doing this episode? Aquatic depth stuff. Because it's about time we got that aquatic depth key. Whoa. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> okay, that's very interesting. Uh, let's go to spawn. I don't know why I teleported there. But yeah, let me set up everything and I'll meet y'all in the aquatic depths. But before we go to the aquatic depths, let's see this weapon in action. Dang you! It's like a David's David's staff, but downwards. I don't know. That's that's my comparison. So pretty much what we're gonna do now, I'll probably montage it, but I won't make the montage that long. I don't know. So last time I had a montage, people complained about it. But uh, I will go ahead and just I don't know. Find the damn key. It's the same drop rate as the other keys. I don't know what this is. The same drop rate as the other keys. I don't know. That might not be true. I think maybe mods affect vanilla drop rates on keys because I always get them a lot. But uh, it's a one in something chance. Two thousand. 
maybe 25,000. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. But I'm pretty sure it gets us a bard weapon, so we won't even be able to use it. But hey, let's do this. We're also gonna fight a on this episode. Good episode coming up. If I run into all the stuff to fight a on I'll fight him then. All right, we're one thing away from fighting a on Here's my arena over here. I'm hoping that one of those enemies just kind of appears next to us. I don't know. They're really hard enemies to see. I usually always accidentally spawn him in. <laughs> can't see the enemies i think there's one right there i don't know we're gonna we're gonna go down there i know this is a really cool enemy down here it's like an angler fish and on top of his head is a golden coin it's really cool <laughs> it's a fake golden coin it's just like to lure you into like you gotta pick it up but it's an angler fish so you better watch out really cool enemy i did good job thorium i know the mods kind of you know not gonna come out with any updates anymore but you have reached peak performance. This is what mod peak performance looks like. Whether you like it or not, thorium is it. Calamity is pretty good too. Is there like any any of those guys close? I hit record because I thought I was gonna you know run into one right away because I've been running into them. I accidentally alt tab during one of the other recordings of the like first montage clip. Which I don't even know if I'll include because it was only like two minutes long, so that'd be like a couple seconds. But when I alt tab and I'm recording, it like automatically crashes the game. And I, I accidentally did that. I don't know why. I think I was, I was listening to music. I was trying to change the song. And I just, I don't know. <laughs> For some reason, I just alt tab. Thing is, the song wasn't even done, so I don't know why I tried to change it. It kind of just fucked me over. Dude, where's this last enemy? You're gonna make me come all the way out here. This is not where my arena is. I'm not coming out there. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. What is this attack he's doing at the beginning? Okay, fuck you, bro. Fuck you. Alright, we're ready. We're gonna use this. Pew! Look at that custom sound effect right there. Oh. Uh, I need a sharp return. Okay. This ain't working. <laughs> Just latch on to him, man. Yeah, try and kill me when I life steal now, bitch. I'll just sit here and take it. Just sit here and take it. Hey, like that. Hey, like that, huh? Hey, like that. I thought it was so hard to do this against Ashen Days. Stop. I was getting. I keep getting stuck on something. Get destroyed. What a little runt. Keeping it PG for my. UK viewers, British viewers, I didn't want to say the C word. That don't say that word. Okay. But uh Oh yeah, what we were doing, we're out here farming a key. We'll come back. Let's just open this. Hey, I could use all these weapons. Am I gonna? No. Probably not. I don't know. Nope, that's the wrong chest. Probably not. It's also the sirens lure. Mmm. Wait, did they ever add in like unique bard noises for every weapon? Diver Man Sin is done working on the mod and they didn't even do that. That's kind of upsetting. Because <laughs> that, that was on his like to do list too. Man, that sucks. I want unique noises for every single thing. Is that really that hard to do? I could like do it for them. Just quick. Tell me. I'll be like, hey gamers, can you do this for me? And I'll be like, alright, I got you. It would have been so easy. I would just need to get the noise and then I need to change the pitch. So there's like three or four different variations of the noise. All right, back to hunting for this fucking key. All right, I just fucked up. I accidentally, <laughs> I sucked in everything and he spawned in. Dude, come on, bro. Can we talk about this? You're in my territory now, by the way. So actually, I don't know. I am a fisherman, but like, is a fisherman's territory considered the water? I guess it'd be considered like the lake side or the river side. I don't know. I can just sit here and take it though. That's how strong Uncle Karius is becoming. This is just a taste of what's to come. Whoa. You can see all his effects in action. I like how his enraged version is just like brown. What are you trying to say? What does that mean? What does that, what does that mean, Thorium developers? What does being brown have to do with being enraged? Where'd the uh, goblin go? Dang it, he got away. I really wanted his loot. Alright, back to our regularly scheduled program.
Oh, we got it. Two of them. Two of them. I sat here for a good, I don't know, 20 minutes with the Zerg potion on just doing this. I had to disable the spawns of the, whatever the fuck they're called, the hallucinations, because I had to fight that boss. What's his name? Abyssion. I had to fight him like three or four times. <laughs> hey, we got some golden scales, too. How sweet is that? So, we do have, uh, why is there so many spawns? Oh, I have a Zerg potion on this one. But, uh, we do have this whale now. I might keep this over the shrimpy truffle, honestly. I don't really use mounts too often, but when I do, it's gonna be the whale, and it's hopefully gonna be underwater. We're gonna, uh, excuse me, we're gonna sell that. Uh, turn for the burp. Put this in here. But we got two aquatic depths keys. Sweet. Golden scale. You guys already know what that does. I'm not even gonna use it. But yeah, let's head back to spawn. It's really useful. The sunfish is really good. Really, really strong. Scales off of fishing damage, too, which is nice. Okay, we're gonna sell all of this except for the gun. What the fuck is this? Man hammer? Damn, this got some high ass hammer power, bro. <laughs> About to use that. Okay. Uh, boom. Sell that. And then one thing we're gonna do, we're gonna talk to the enchanter real quick. Since we're gonna use this hammer. Uh, we're gonna get this. There you go. There you go. There's our new, new hammer. New hammer alert. Now let's head to the dungeon. And we're gonna open up that chest. Give me the key. Boom. Dungeon. Alright. Oh, don't hurt him. Dude. I said don't hurt them. What does he do? He fucking hurts him. Goddamn leech. I hate the leeches. Alright. Oh, the map is broken, so it's gonna, we're just going to have to go through the whole dungeon over again and just hope we find it. Very interesting color we got going on here with this blue moon, which I haven't fought the boss from. The boss ain't on the boss checklist, so blame that. <laughs> well, I haven't fought it. Where do they spawn all the way down here, though? What the heck? I was like, what the hell is attacking me? I don't know why these enemies spawn all the way down here. Uh, we're going to make it daytime. I'm not interested in, in finding the blue moon right now. Probably won't. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll have an episode specifically on that report. I haven't really done any events and invasions. Invasions. Uh, I just I haven't needed to. Well, we missed a couple of battle rods. We'll get all the battle rods in the episode. I saw. I found this painting. Look interesting. But then when you look at it closer, it doesn't look that interesting. <laughs> That's a vanilla painting. I bet it's one of the rarest paintings in the game. Like every painting is. Alright, um. Yeah, no clue. Haven't been able to find it yet. Did I alt tab? I think I alt tabbed. What does the chest usually look like? See, that's the problem. I don't know what the chest usually looks like. I would assume it'd be a color. But if I did that, that'd be racist, am I right? Alright, so I've walked around the dungeon a couple of times now. I don't know where the fuck it is, dude. We might have not ever gotten one. <laughs> Which means I just spent like an hour or something recording this episode for nothing. Which is not how this is about to go down. We about to we about to go into a new world and find it. But like yeah, straight up I can't fucking find it. Jungle chest. I can't just sit here and you know look for it on the map. I have to go to like my home to look at it. Can you like no, you can't do that. Why can't you do that? I was gonna say, like, can you waypoint shit on the Terraria map? No, you can't. That should be a feature. Why isn't that a feature? Okay, um. So now here's piano. We're looking for four block squares. Brown four block squares. Mmm. I see nothing here. Right there? That's the jungle chest. You saw that one already. I haven't been all the way down here. Hollow chest. Okay. I definitely made this world. Actually, I don't know. Did I make this world when the new update came out? <laughs> I have no idea, actually. We might have to go to a new world. Yeah, we're going to go to a new world. I think it'll be easier. Let me just store all my inventory first. Well, let me just sell all my inventory, actually. Here we are. New dungeon, new world. We better find this damn thing. Bro, this thing is too overpowered. Well, I guess you just use a grappling hook and you kind of just beat it. Still, it's strong. It actually hits you through walls. Jeez. <laughs> Took forever to break that one. 
No, we're not break that. Open that door. All right, come on. Cough it up. Oh, damn, this thing's gonna be weak. You got this based on worlds. How strong your legendary weapons are. It's not based on your characters, based on worlds. Okay, we've seen, what, two legendary chests so far? We're getting close. I can feel it. <clears throat> I can smell it too. Stop, let go of me. I wish I didn't have to record this fucking episode for, you know, like three hours now. Because I was supposed to record some other stuff, but, you know. I love playing me some Terraria. I'm not complaining. No, I am complaining. RNG should have been faster. And chests should have spawned. Even though I don't think the mod was updated when we started the fishing playthrough. It's all good. I done diddly found it. I done diddly fucked my ass and call me Taborius. Alright. Where's my damn key? There it is. Boom. Oh, it doesn't need to be hard mode in the... F oh, my God. This is just so complicated for no damn reason, man. How fast can we kill the wall of flesh? Think. Pretty damn fast. So pretty damn fast. See you later, Waff. As they call him. Didn't mean to do that. All right. We can do it this time. What is that? Oh, is that the loot? Big bone. Mm. Let's go down here. And let's... For real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, get it this time. No jokes. No jokes. No more plans. So my plan was to cook food and then finish the episode before the food finished cooking so I could eat the food while the video rendered. Because that would just been good. Good timing. Had something to do. Now, I just, I gotta just sit here and wait while the video renders food already eaten. eaten i still can't open it are we not in hard mode i need to kill plantera now right oh my god it's one of the messages that comes up when you kill plantera is the caverns have been flooded with lava that sounds so much cooler than what actually happens it's just the new ore that's flooding the caverns not even flooding it's just thermite or whatever the hell it's called that red ore from spirit mod it sounds so much cooler if it was legit, like flooded, like some of them. But that'd be too hard to generate. All right, one more thing. Before we leave, I'm bringing a souvenir home. Oh, there's a thermite right there. Wow, flooded with lava. I'm bringing a souvenir before we go home. We got the fish bone, which probably isn't even worth it at all. But I wanted it. I said we'd do it, so I did it. Boom. Stone of death. Bring it that home. Let's go home. All right, time to see the fish bone in action. This is a legendary status weapon right here man these are these are like the og terraria legendary weapons the ones you find in a chest this is the type of status it has let's see how it is wasn't worth 